Today we are on part 4 of Ruger 1022 budget build and today we're going to be adding a bipod from CV Life and that's coming up next here on Just CV Outdoors. Welcome back everybody and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment down below. Today we are going over a bipod I picked up here from CV Life that we're going to put on our budget build Ruger 1022. So what we're going to do is we're going to box it, see what all comes with it, and then we're going to put it on the project and see what it looks like. So let's go ahead and go to the table and get started. All right, let's pop the box open here and see what all comes inside of this. First, we got a little package here. This comes with a nice little swivel mount with an Allen wrench in there. That's nice. They give you the tool to put it on there. Looks like this would go to a pick rail or a weaver rail to mount it. And then we've got the actual bipod here. We'll open it up and take a look at it here real quick. That looks like a real nice piece. This is a carbon fiber one. Since I got a bowl barrel, I figured I'd put something light on the front end to make up for the extra weight of the bowl barrel. So we got that there. We'll open this other package up real quick and look at this pick rail to see what it looks like. And basically what it is, this is connects to a stud swivel. So if you got an AR-15 that has a uh, rail on it, or they also, after I got this one, I saw they have an M-lock one. And then you can put this on your AR-15 handguard and it gives you a stud swivel right there to hook the bipod up to. So now let's go over the bipod. Now the legs of this, they're made from 100% carbon fiber on this and it weighs 8.8 .8 ounces. This is lighter than any other aluminum bipod and stronger than 80 of them. This does have five height adjustments and you just push the little lever on the bottom and they put them to, uh, out like that. Then it has an anti-slide rubber feet on here and this is a six to nine bipod on here. And then as I showed you right here, it does come with a Picatinny adapter here. And this is uh, help installing any pick rail or weaver rail mount to give you that stud right there to mount this to you. It's made to be high and low temperature resistant and corrosion resistant. Looks like a real nice piece here. Now we're just gonna push these up, push the feet back in. And one thing I wanna show you guys that I'm really impressed by this, I got a magnet here. Right here's the dial. And you can see that is magnetic. Side of it's magnetic. This thing is made with a lot of metal on that. Pretty impressed by that. Also has the little rubber pieces here to protect your stock when you mount it up. And that's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and get the Ruger 1022 budget belt out here and mount this up to it. So to install this is pretty easy. You can see this piece right here and how it's got the two nubs there. That goes in your swing swivel on your gun. So let's go ahead and grab the Ruger 1022 budget build here. And we're just going to put it right on the swing swivel right here. And then you just tighten it up on it. Turn this knob right here until it gets tight. And then once it's tightened up, we're good to roll on it. Looks like it's mounting up pretty good here. Get it nice and tight. And there you go. I'm gonna back the camera up so you guys can see it a little bit better. All right, there you guys go. We'll do a little flyby here. That is a nice looking little bipod we got there. Pop it open with no problem. Shoot the legs out. Now we have it all set up perfect. So now we're ready for the next item, which will be in the next video. And now for the price of this bipod. I picked this up on Amazon for $26.99. So for $27, you get a nice metal frame, sturdy bipod. I cannot wait to try this out. So this is sticking with the budget theme and how can you beat $30 for a bipod like this? So as always, I'll leave a link down below to Amazon for you guys to check this out. There's also one that has the M-Lock adapter too, like I said, which makes it easier to put on handrails, AR-15s, and everything. 
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed part four of the Ruger 1022 budget build. That's all I got for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget we are one nation under God, and I'll see you all on the next one.